Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and welcome to this week's episode of The Knife Guys. So what are we talking about today? Why I didn't go to Blade Show and why I've never been. Real clickbaity title. Um, there's no... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's no like juicy dark secret or anything or you know there's no, nothing bad uh, the truth is is because every year um every every time there's a major show i am just absolutely um swamped and it's not just with channel stuff if you didn't know um i have a family i have a wife and kids and my kids are both in traveling sports in fact they're in multiple sports and they do this year round. Um, and you know, the truth is, is that a lot of times things, um, some events can be moved. I mean, obviously it's not like I can move a baseball tournament. Right. And I think some people would say, why wouldn't you just, it, you can't, you, you can't just miss like one game and I'm going to be real with you. No, I, I don't want to, I don't want to miss, um, events like that. Uh, even if it's just one, um, it's weird that I have a channel with 300,000 subscribers and the channel is everything has to do with knives, right? It's weird that I've never been to a show. And that's the truth. I've actually never been to Blade Show. So, you know, you, you can judge me for that if you want to. But I, uh, you know, I, I, put a, I put a lot of work into the channel to make sure that there's always, there, there are two uploads a day, every day. And I, it's been years um, since I was doing less than that. I think when I started the channel, I was doing, you know, like four to five a week. And then it was like once a day, you know, and then at some point I started doing two a day and it's been like that for at least three and a half years. I have not missed a single day. Um, and then, uh, so that takes uh, quite a bit of time. This is this, I do this full time now. And then any extra time that I have, I, you know, I did, I try to dedicate to my family. Um, we also have extended family who live in town. They have kids. And so we're going to not just our own kids stuff, but my, my nieces and nephews stuff. We're doing stuff like that. Um, so things are busy, you know, it's just how it goes. And anybody who has kids, which I'm sure is like a, a ton of people who watch, you kind of get that. Um, there will come a day where I will have time for Blade Show. And I, you know, my wife and I have been discussing this and she said, it's going to be really hard in the summer because uh, we've got baseball tournaments and stuff like that. And I said, yeah. And she said, you might consider maybe going to the next one. It's in, you know, fall season. Um, and so there's, there's a chance that I'll go to that one. And I know a lot of you have heard me say that over and over again. Yeah, I can't go to this one, but I'm going to go to the next one. Um, we'll just see, right? I mean, it, really what it's going to come down to is it's going to be close to event time. And if it's going to happen, then I'll, you know, have a video or something somewhere on social media saying I'm going to be there. Um, but that's the, that's the main reason that I, I didn't go. And it's also the reason that I have never been. <laughs> We've always just been a little bit too busy. So, um, I uh, very much would like to meet anyone and everyone, uh, anybody who watches the channel, yeah, I, it would be really cool to go to a show and meet you and to the, um, you know, the knife makers and manufacturers and the retailers and everybody who, you know, has ever interacted with me on this channel in any way, shape or form. It would also be really great to, to meet you guys too. And I plan on doing that someday, but, um, that's, uh, that's really the reason why. And this time around it, it especially stung because I, I feel like after, and, and you know, everybody has different thoughts after Blade Show, but, I, I don't know about you guys, but I really feel like I missed out this time around. Something interesting is happening. And it, I mean, it all depends on what content you're being fed on social media. But like everywhere on YouTube and everywhere on Instagram right now, which are the two main areas that I exist on, you know, those are the two main platforms that I'm on. Um, everything that I'm seeing is uh, really, really interesting. And I feel like there's a big shift in um, aesthetic evolution. I saw some of the most amazing, and I'm not just talking about like, you know, really like colorful, like, wow, it's Timascus again. Like, you know, I, I've i gone through a bit of a Timascus and, and uh, Zerkatai phase and that I still like those materials, um, but 
there's a, I, I'm realizing that there's a new aesthetic of knives, a whole new evolution of aesthetic that I am interested in. And these aesthetics are also grabbing a lot of attention um, in so, on social media in general. And I, I feel like a lot of you are going to know what I'm talking about. Some of you are going to go, what? I didn't see anything like that at Blade Show. So again, it depends on what content you're being fed on social media. But what I'm seeing are these hyper futuristic, um, like almost impossibly straight lines where, where the, the simplicity of it, initially it looks like almost something that's very simple, but then you look at the lines and everything and it looks not just futuristic. It looks like um, something from, here's this is the best way I can describe it. It looks like um, something that came from a time well after the collapse of society. <laughs> It looks like we like develop, we like overdeveloped AI. So society collapsed in on itself, and the the robots sort of were like, "Ugh, yikes! Let's uh, try and uh, you know keep our business over here and let these weird organic uh, beings you know deal with each other." And then um, this is stuff that they made, <laughs> like thousands of years in the future. It really. Looks pretty. Sorry, everyone's like, why? Why the darkness of that? You do really could have just said it looks cool, right? Um, yeah, there there are actually multiple companies that are doing things like this. Reich, I think, was the first company that I saw a long time ago, sort of start this aesthetic off. And I'm not saying that they're the first person, they're the first company or group that's ever done this type of aesthetic before, but the first time it really gained attention, and I I think maybe inspired some other groups. I feel like Reich did a couple of things that helped set that fire, uh, and then some other companies picked up on it. Um, there's also some really interesting finishes that I've never seen before, um, and I'm sure that this this is the part that really gets me. It's just tip of the iceberg. I wasn't there to experience it. I'm just looking at it through a window, right? So a lot of times, you know, people will watch stuff like Blade Show coverage, and they'll be like, meh, meh. It doesn't look like anything was super interesting this year. I wouldn't have been interested. Well, you saw you saw nothing through a rectangle, you idiot. Of course, of course, there are things there that would have been substantially more interesting. The thing for me is, <laughs> who am I coming after? The thing for me is, is seeing something that looks awesome and realizing that if I'm seeing one or two or three things that look amazing, think about all the stuff that I missed, right? Oh, and and you know. Equally as important, all of the interactions with people that I, I'm sure would love to interact with, all of the interactions that I've missed. There's this whole uh, like culture that's involved with Blade Show that I can really only imagine, right? I mean, I, like, I'm, I'm a self-defined knife guy. I mean, clearly, right? A guy who likes knives. But it's not like... It's not like you have to go to Blade Show to be fully indoctrinated into the, you know, into the knife society. But it's definitely something that I feel like, you know, I, I want to experience. I don't feel like I have to. I feel like there's a lot there that I want to experience. In fact, I feel like I pretty much want to experience all of it, right? Um, so it, I, I want to make sure that everybody knows that it's not like I don't want to go to Blade Show and I feel like I'm obligated because I run this YouTube channel. No, I desperately want to go. And as much as I love knives and as much as I would love to meet um, people who watch my channel and the retailers, manufacturers, and makers, I just really don't want to miss my kids' uh, stuff. You know? I just don't want to. <laughs> and, you know, it's... Uh, Sometimes baseball tournaments are rough because you're sitting there all day in the sun, right? Um, but I'd still, I, I just, it's, you know, I don't want to miss that stuff. Um, when I was younger, my my parents went to all my stuff, and um, that was really important to me. So I want to try and do the same thing. But it, you know, it, it's also important to me to continue to make knife content. The other thing that I've always pointed out about. Uh, Blade Show and my reason for going is that I, I, I'm not really interested in um, creating Blade Show coverage content. Um, you know, like trying to showcase the newest and the best and the best. Like I've, I've always, you know, maintained that this channel is not about being first. I am not the home shopping network. I am not interested in being the first on YouTube or the exclusive. It happens sometimes, 
There have been times there's a fly in here and I've been trying to swat at you guys can't see me. I have missed this fly eight times. That thing is absolutely mocking me at this point. But a few times I, I have been the exclusive YouTube unveiling of something. And that's cool, right? But it's not the main point. Um, sometimes people will be like, yo, this knife came out like two months ago. Like, why didn't you? Well, here's, I mean, simple math, right? You'd think you wouldn't have to explain this to people, but simple math. I upload two videos a day, right? Um, the knife world spits out a bajillion new designs every 60 seconds. So it's literally not possible. And if you didn't know the maximum amount of videos that you can upload to YouTube in a 24 hour period that have any hope of being suggested by the YouTube algorithm, take a crack at it. You want to know how many it is? Three. That's even, you can make, you can, I could upload 16 videos in a day, but they're not going to recommend it, which means you're not going to see it. You're not going to know that it exists. There is no incentive. On top of that, I don't want to do that. Even, uh, even uploading three a day sounds like a nightmare. It would take all the fun out of it. Uh, it also would um, lower the quality of my reviews because I would be pumping out way too much content and not being able to focus on things, right? And it's tricky as it is, right? So that's just the basic math of it. There is no incentive for me whatsoever to be the first, try to introduce the newest all the time. Sometimes I like to go back and talk about things that are long gone, that nobody can get just because I want to talk about it, right? Sometimes I'm talking about new things and sometimes I'm right there, right during the release, but I do it at my pace. I know that the people who watch my content, right? If you're watching a review on my channel, you're not watching it just because I'm, you know, it's not like you're expecting me to be first or wanting to digest the newest content all the time. It's because you want to get my take on something. And that's how I like it. That's how I want it to be. That's how it's always been. And that process is what's allowed this channel to grow to 300,000 subscribers. Um, so I'm going to keep it that way. So for that reason, that long-winded explanation, I'm not interested in showcasing um, Blade Show releases. And I, I think I, I'm saying this to my own audience and also to... Um, any makers, manufacturers, you know, who might expect me like, hey, can you take a video and upload it on your channel? I mean, I'd rather just like look at your stuff and meet you when that day comes. I'd rather just interact with you and and, the, and just people in general, right? Um, I think it'd be cool to do a, a you know, um, upload some content, right? Just like a sort of compilation of my experience at Blade Show that maybe like a eight to 10 minute compilation of just like meeting people and talking about knives and, and things like that. But I don't want to do, I'm not really interested in doing like a dedicated like 10 minute segment on, you know, this brand and this brand and like going over their new stuff. That's fine. I think there's other, other channels that do that. Retailers do that. Right. And I think that's fine. Uh, there's plenty of that content on YouTube and it's, I'm glad it's there because we can go around and we can look at it. But um, as I've mentioned many times in live streams, that's just not what I'm interested in doing. I, I just want to go have the Blade Show experience as, you know, just a regular attendee, as it should be, because that's what I am. I would be a regular uh, attending person of Blade Show, right? Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm, all, I'm also going to share this with you guys. <laughs> some of you know and some of you don't. Um, I'm terrified of planes. I hate them. And it's not because I've not been on a plane before or very few times. I've actually been on a plane close to a hundred times in my life. Um, and, uh, it gets worse every time I'm on a plane. I absolutely hate it. Don't like it. Hate turbulence. There is nothing anybody can say to me, right? Well, if you look at the, look at the rate of uh, accidents, all don't give me that. Don't give me those statistics, right? I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. There's nothing anybody can say. I hate planes. Um, so the shorter the plane ride, or if I can drive, right, it's better. Oh, you're it's much more dangerous than a car. You're both ah, save it. I don't care. I got Google, I got access to Google too, right? What you should do is go and sit at an airport and watch the uh, airplanes take off and land successfully, and give you a sense of peace and calm, and you know, just the general logic of that. Yeah, people have said that to me too. I no, I'm not going to hear it. I'm sorry. I know everybody's going to want to help. Or maybe you won't, maybe you don't care. Um, but no, I, I'm, I, either way, it's going to be kind of a grip my teeth and just, just shake for, for however many hours it takes. <laughs> it's really my plane riding experience. Um, but uh, I, I just don't, I, I really hate planes. And it's, it, that's not the main reason. 
um, because we we fly on a plane once a year somewhere anyway, right? Um, and it's always, you know, the desire to go to the destination is always much stronger than my fear of flying, right? Um, and I'm not the worst ever. It's just a general uh, flight anxiety. It's not like an absolute terror. I'm, I'm being a little over dramatic, but I am very uncomfortable on planes. Um, so that's uh, that's that's generally it. Um, I don't know that this episode of The Knife Guy really needs to go on much longer. I just wanted to kind of give you guys my thoughts about what I saw. I know that there's a ton of stuff that I did not see. And there's also a ton of stuff that I'm not talking about right now. There have definitely been some companies who have reached out uh, before, during, and after Blade Show. And, you know, asked about me checking out certain things. So there are lots of things that I am sort of keeping secret because I can't wait to show them to you guys. Again, not trying to be first or anything like that. Um, but I am excited about that stuff, but I'm also well aware that there's a ton of stuff I'm just not aware of. And that's really the most exciting thing is that I, I know that a, a ton of incredible stuff is, uh, going to sort of explode into the knife universe, uh, here over the next few months. And, uh, it's going to be a really fun ride. It's, uh, you know, it's always a little bit boring leading up to blade show and it's always amazing afterwards. And I think this year is going to be especially potent. So that's it. Short episode of the knife guy. Um, but I, I thought maybe I should cover this uh, somewhere outside of a live stream, which we, we covered a lot there. But I, I figured a knife guy episode might be the way to go. So anyways, that's going to be pretty much it today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody. And have a great day.